Welcome everyone, today I will show you how to make propionyl chlorides. This stuff can be used in chemistry to make esters very easily. For the preparation we are going to use a little over 2 moles of benzoyl chloride and exactly 2 moles of propionic acid. I had to rebottle the benzoyl chloride for a few reasons, but I actually got both these chemicals from laboratorium discounter. If you don't know them yet, they are a Dutch chemical seller, they are selling a lot of stuff and if you want to order from them while also getting a 7% discount, use the code on screen or in the video description. I assume that most of you have never heard of this method of making acid chloride before and that's reasonable, I haven't heard of it before too. So let me explain what we are going to do. The usual routes use an acid and hydride and HCl gas. But in the lab you also often use thionyl chloride because it's very convenient, phosphorus chlorides or other roots like oxalyl chloride. These roots can be used for most carboxylic acids. Benzoyl chloride cannot be used for most carboxylic acids. When using benzoyl chloride it is important that the resulting carboxylic acid chloride is a somewhat slow boiling liquid. This method is suited for propionyl chloride and acetyl chloride, I don't know about butyryl chloride and anything above that, but for propionyl chloride it works decently well. We measured out 235 milliliters of benzoyl chloride and 150 milliliters of propionic acid. These two chemicals were simply mixed and when you heat them up you get propionyl chloride which distills off. In solution you have an equilibrium between acid and acid chloride and as propionyl chloride can easily be distilled off, we can remove it from the equation. The hot plate was set to a temperature of 200 degrees C and what came over had a temperature of between 60 and 85 degrees C. Propionyl chloride has a boiling temperature of about 80 degrees Celsius and as the boiling point of propionic acid itself is much higher than that, the liquid coming over in our temperature range can be accepted as decently pure propionyl chloride. The entire distillation took about 2 hours and it got slower towards the end. I could have continued it to get an even higher yield, but I figured out that it wasn't worth it and I just stopped it. And there you have it, this is our finished propionyl chloride. It's a clear liquid which produces nasty fumes. For storing it you need to use a tight sealing storage bottle. Before filling it up I weighed it on a scale in order to determine the yield. We ended up with 83 grams which represents a yield of 45%. You could improve the yield by distilling for longer but you don't want to crank the temperature up too much because you could contaminate your product with benzoic acid. On screen you can now see what happens when you add water. Propionyl chloride instantly hydrolyzes and forms propionic acid and hydrochloric acid. You also don't need to throw away the leftovers. You can still get some useful benzoic acids by adding distilled water, heating it up to dissolve it, decanting it off and letting the benzoic acid crystallize out. I ended up using a lot of distilled water, heating it up, crystallizing it out and reusing the distilled water because there was so much benzoic acid. But while heating we got this very interesting lava lime black looking effect. Watching benzoic acid crystallize out is also mesmerizing, it looks like a snow globe. We ended up recovering 196 grams of benzoic acid, so this does not have to go to waste and can still be used for other projects. Let's talk about reasons why you even want to make propionyl chlorides. Occasionally I like to make esters and you are going to get another video on that soon and if you want to make esters you can simply mix an acid chloride with your alcohol and you get the ester and hydrogen chloride. This method is very quick, in this case our alcohol was thymol and I added the propionyl chloride to it and shook it. I had to heat it up with a lighter for about 30 seconds but after that the reaction was finished. As I used a small excess of propionyl chloride to make this ester, this clear liquid consists of propionyl chloride, our ester and hydrogen chloride. To get rid of the hydrogen chloride and left over propionyl chloride, propionic acid, I added distilled water and later on a small amount of sodium bicarbonate. It was shaken, the ester separated out and it was transferred to a vial. All of this was done in under 6 minutes. And there you go. Now you know how to make propionyl chloride. I hope you liked today's video and I would especially like to thank all of my Patreons because you guys make it possible to film even cooler stuff. If you would like to become a Patreon too while getting your name at the end of these videos, access to a few Patreon exclusive videos while also supporting me, I would appreciate if you check out the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.